హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు జావా ఈఈ ఈజేపీ జేపీఏ ట్యూటోరియల్ ఇన్ దిస్ సబ్ సీరియస్ వీఆర్ వాచింగ్ జేపీఏ ఎంటిటీ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నౌ యూ ఆర్ వాచింగ్ పార్ట్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ ది సబ్ సీరియస్ అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు క్రియేట్ ఏ జేపీఏ ఎంటిటీ సేవింగ్స్ అకౌంట్ these are all the prerequisite so in the last video we prepared our db and in the pubs database we added the savings account table now we will look at the saving account entity class we will create this class in the uh, demo for now we will learn some of the important attributes and how this class is developed or how the class will be developed in the demo so we know that this is our uh, database table savings account which contains three column person id person name and balance the person id is the auto generated field and it acts as a key column so if you see here this is the class we will create in the eclipse ide and this class implements serializable then if you see here so the serializable here is to we want to store this state information into db then we will read back and we will construct the entity right so that's why serializable is important and the class name is savings account the entity attributes tells that the savings account is an entity that means the java class saving account is representing some table in the database so the next annotation is coming into picture and here we say table and we specify name equal to savings ac so we specify the saving account maps to saving accounts table savings ac so the same is specified here table is the annotation and name is the attribute and the attribute we are passing our table name so entity annotation tells saving account is a jp jpa entity java class and table annotation maps the java class here the java class is a savings account with the db table mentioned by the name attribute here the name attribute is a savings ac and the mapping occurs now next here we are opening the class inside we defined a field int dal and you can see the annotation what we are using is the column annotation and column annotation also uses the attribute name and the name we specify here as balance that means the int dal field in the savings account uh, class java class maps to database column balance the same goes for the next attribute column name equal to person name and the java class field name is p name p name maps to person name so that's what the column attribute does column attribute maps a java class member with a database column name so here the table annotation tells or the table attribute tells savings account maps to a table then the saving accounts field 
maps to balance column balance column in the sense of balance column of the savings account right next we define a field called pid we specify this pid with uh, an attribute id then we specify column name is person id column name is person id and if you see here is the person id the same way how we specified the balance and p name with the column attribute the same way we mark this pid also with a database field name on top of this we specify at the rate id that means this tells that the column here i mean the java class field pid is a key column in the database so the id attribute specifies column is a primary key or simply a key column next the state generated value so this is the attribute here we are using generated value then strategy generation type as identity so here when we created the database the person id is a id column we know that then it's a generated value so remember so in the previous video we uh, brought the design view then we expanded the person id and identity we expanded that and we saw uh, the seed is one and step also one so that means the person id is a auto generated uh, field or it contains a auto generated value so that's what here we are saying it first we are telling it's a id field or a key field in this uh, uh, table so this is a normal mapping like others then we say this key is a auto generated one and sql server will take care of uh, generating it suppose if you place a two insert statement and if this table doesn't contain anything since see this one the first one uh, first row will take a value of one and second row will take a value of two and if you delete this and add a new one the third addition will get a value of three so that's how the auto generation goes and that's what here we are specifying it a PID is a generated value and the generation type is identity. Auto generated by the database. All right. After that, if you see, we have uh, three fields, right? So we are generating getters and setters. This is for PID, this is for balance, and this is for PNAME. So in the previous slide we saw those three fields are private here we are providing a public accessor function that means a getter and a setter functions then we have the utility function also those utility function acts on the balance field so user can make a call to deposit on this entity and they will pass a amount so when they make a deposit we know that whatever is the value here in balance that will get incremented so if the current balance is 100 and credit value is 20 then we will get 1020 as the uh, new balance same goes for withdraw here we are using the minus and we are uh, uh, we are reducing the uh, balance in the database when it is a withdraw so that's all here so our class contains three field and it is mapped to the database field then we have getter and setters after that we have some utility functions now we will go to the demo and in the previous video itself we created the jpa entity project now we have to create the entity class and add the functionality So we are opening our uh, workspace.
okay first uh, we will go to the jpa perspective then this is our jpa savings account project now click on this project then right click choose new so since uh, previously i used the entity uh, that's displayed here in your case if it is not uh, displaying go to other then type jpa so under jpa node you can see jpa entity so click on this click next so java package we will choose tube dot So that's the package name we are giving tube coding examples JPA entity and the class name we are giving it as savings account. So that's all if you see since we have only one project uh, JPA project so that is uh, displayed by default JPA savings account then we there is no package created yet and that's why when we go to browse it shows only the default package so we are asking to create a package tube dot coding dot examples dot jpa dot entity inside that we are asking to create an entity class savings account and inheritance we are giving it as entity we are accepting the default here next here we will accept the default and click finish so if you see uh, eclipse created a class called savings account so don't worry about this error we will rectify it and it automatically uh, says implements serializable so entity attribute is already provided by the id itself we will give the table attribute and state the saving account java class maps to the table savings ac next uh, we provide so that's the constructor right we will place it before the constructor here if you see we are adding a two field int balance then p name then we are using the column attribute as specified in the slide then we add key field to our savings account then we use id column and generated value uh, attributes from javax.persistence next we need to provide getters and setters so i am double clicking this tab then here we will pick all three field jpa structure or even we can go to the outline So go for generate getters and setters. So this is our constructor, right? After the constructor, we will insert it. So it's a constructor. We used Eclipse IDE tool to have these getters and setters around these three fields. Next, we will have 
our utility methods. So here is the format, we will ask to format it. So that's all, we are done with the uh, source code and these two are all the utility functions, I mean uh, the behavior of this entity class and the entity class supports two action, one is a deposit and another one is a withdraw. So that's all here. Now we will move to Java EE perspective. So this is Java EE perspective. We are done with our entity class. In the next video, we will see how to use the JPA tool to validate this entity. I mean, um, entity fields as well as the saving account entity. So if you see here in this video, we does not use any JPA tool at all. We just directly coded it. And in the next video, we will see how to use the tool and uh, how it will be useful to you when you use the JPA tool and validate these column names and all. Alright, that's all here uh, in this video. So in the demo, we created our entity class and we made it uh, ready. In the next video, we will see how to use some of the JPA tools. Thank you for watching. Bye.